can't make jokes about this. Why? It, in in 2004, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and began a personal journey to wellness that brought me to raw, to a raw food diet. How can I make fun of someone who created a food because they developed multiple sclerosis? <gasps> Please tell me you're not filming. I am. Oh, God, everyone will know what a monster I am. Welcome back to Brendan Eats It. Um, you may notice a new setting. Uh, I'd like to apologize for those of you who, uh, who watch the show regularly. Mom. Um, we didn't update until Thursday last week because we were in the midst of moving. We have a new home, um, and as such, we have been busy. But uh, today, we are eating a, uh, an interesting little granola-type bar by the lovely and ever-exploitable title of Two Moms in the Raw. Um, I've made all the jokes already to myself about raw mom in it and, and all, all kinds of things like that. Um, but uh, the interesting thing about this is that, as the name would dictate, it is completely raw. Everything about it has, has not been cooked to upwards of, what is it, 120 degrees or something like that. Like, nothing more than leaving it out in the sun for too long. Um, the ingredients... Wow. Um, the ingredients are... Here we go. Organic agave, organic sunflower seeds, organic buckwheat, organic pumpkin seeds, organic goji berries, organic millet, organic apples, organic sesame seeds, organic flax seeds, organic pecans, organic almonds, organic cinnamon, and sea salt. Not organic. Not organic. It's, it's not cruelty-free sea salt. They actually take the seals and they just wring them out and then they wait for the water to dry and that's the salt that they get. Or, you know, the tears of Galapagos penguins. Um, may contain tree nuts. Considering it looks like bird food, I'm not surprised. Um, this is goji berry. There's another that is blueberry. Goji berry is, uh, one of those many things that is being heralded as a super fruit. I do not buy it unless it gives me powers, like, you know, stopping bullets or the ability to sweat sausage gravy. Wow, it's not that's... really a super fruit. That really looks like something you hang in a bird cage. It looks like fucking bird food. Um, I can see some discernible foodstuffs, though. You know, there's very clearly, like, there's an almond, there's a pumpkin seed. All organic. Um, And I don't really know what to expect from this. Um, I'm not going to use this as an excuse to make fun of hippies, because you're probably already doing it. So we're just going to eat it. (laughs) I'm really curious as to what they use as a binder. I can't see anything that's necessarily sticky. So I guess agave, but it's definitely holding together pretty well. Like there's some bendiness to this that you wouldn't expect. It's not unpleasant. Um, I guess, all right, I'm an American, clearly. I've become accustomed to cooked food. Food is food after it's cooked. With the exception of sushi, which is not an American food, everything else gets cooked. So the whole raw thing, while not unappealing, is definitely strange for me. And if this is the best they have to offer, I'll pass. It's not... There's no real flavor at all. It just tastes like trail mix that somebody rinsed all the salt off of and then for some reason put back into the bag. Um, There's an interesting kind of underlying taste and the best way to describe it is soap. There's a weird kind of mouth filling definitely soapy sort of taste that fails to accentuate the taste of everything else in this I also I don't know much about most of these ingredients like I've 
I, as best as I know, I've never eaten millet or buckwheat or flax seeds, you know. So I, I'm assuming that's what the majority of this is comprised of, are those, you know, things that I'm not aware of. But uh, all in all, two moms in the raw. <laughs> Sorry. I ran through a joke in my head that I'm not allowed to say because YouTube has restriction, rich, restrictive rules. But at any rate, two moms in a row. Not the worst thing I've ever eaten, but fucking hippies. So I'm reading over the packaging as we're, we're, we're eating this. And the uh, what seems to be the tagline is, good for you, good for the planet, and kids love it. Here's an important thing that I have to say to anybody who would like to feed this to their children. Your children do not like this. I'm close enough to being a child that I can remember that this was the kind of thing that I would throw away or trade for a pudding cup. Kids like fucking chocodiles. Kids like smack cereal. Kids like those weird frozen things you get from the ice cream truck with a gumball at the bottom that's always way too hard, but you chew it anyways because it's fucking gum and who's going to throw that out? Kids do not like this. If you feed this to your kids... They're going to grow up to hate you. <laughs> now I'm done with my rant.